Today, we are going to learn everything about conjugation of verbs. In English, we have about 12 or 16 tenses, but in Arabic, from grammatical side, only from grammatical side, we have just three. Past, as I said, present and imperative. From logical side, we have more. We have something we can call it like uh, past continuous, uh, present perfect. We have something like that in Arabic, but now we just want to understand it from grammatical side, how to make a conjugation of verbs. Let's start with past simple. So with We add pronouns to and we put sukun at the third letter. Daras or the, uh, on the last letter. Daras tu. Daras tu means I studied. Daras tu. Daras tu arabiyyata fi Misr. I studied Arabic in Egypt. Daras tu. Ana daras tu. Nahnu. We put sukun again and add pronouns na. And we say daras na. Daras na. For example, just uh, say after me. Mathalan fahima. Fahima. I would write fahima means understand. Fahima. How would you say I understand? Understood, sorry. It's fahima understood. Past. Fahima. Fahim, Fahim at two. Fahim two. Fahim two. We understood. Fahim na. Fahim na. For example, uh, I went somewhere. The haba. See? The haba. The haba. I went. The hab two. Daras na. The hab we went. The hab na. Okay, I will write here these verbs. After that, anta, you are, you, my brother, studied. Daras ta. And here is easy with anta because anta ends with ta and the verb ends with ta. Da anta daras ta, anta daras ta. You understood? Anta fahim ta. Anta you went, anta the hab ta. Anti. The same logic, add T. Anti the habti. Anti the rusty. Anti, did you understand my sister? Anti fahim T. Antuma, easy. Tuma. Daras tuma. Daras tuma. You too, for example, Ahmed and Umar. Ahmed, Umar. Did you too? Did you understand? Fahim? Did Fahim? Tuma. Fahim? Tuma. Did you went? Did you go? Sorry. The hab? Tuma. Tuma. You too. Antum daras tum. Antum daras tum. You guys, you all. Did you guys understand? Understand? Fahim tum. Did you guys go somewhere? The hab tum. Tum. You antum the hab tum. Okay, guess. Antun, you girls. Did you study? How would you say it? Easy. Daras tun. Daras. Tunna, daras tunna. You sisters, did you understand? Did you all sisters understand? Fahim tunna. Did you went? They have tunna. Okay, these are easy, but with here no. There, there is different logic. We just add ta with sukun. Darasat, darasat. We don't put sukun here in darasa. 
but we just put ta with the sukun. Daras, darasat. Huwa darasa, Muhammad darasa, wa Fatima darasat. Okay, Muhammad fahima wa Fatima fahimat. Muhammad dhahaba, Fatima dhahabat. Dhahabat. Okay. Huma. Huma. They two, you mean my, uh, my two brothers, Ahmed wa Umar. They two, my brothers, they studied. We just add Alif and say Darasa. So it's like you, add, you just add Alif for Huwa here. Like just add Alif, Darasa. Darasa, Muhammad wa Umar Darasa fi Saudiya. Muhammad wa Umar Darasa. For example, my, to my parents, my mom and my dad, they understood me. Fahima. They went. Dehaba. Dehaba. Okay, with Huma, the same logic. You just add Alif for here. And you say, Darasata. It was Darasat. Add Alif. Darasata, Darasata. For my mom, my mother, and my sister, they understood. Two women. Fahima ta, Fahima ta, Fahima ta, Fahima ta, Fahima ta. Okay, Fahima ta. After that, whom, whom? They, men, or mixed group. Hum. U. Darasu. Ya ayuhal ladhina amanu. Oh, who believed. Amanu. Kafaru. Darasu. Darasu. So you add U. Darasu. They understood. Fahimu. They went. Yes. Dhahabu. And they, women. Daras na. Daras na. Daras na. My sisters studied in Moscow. Akhawati daras na. Darasna fi Moscow. Darasna. My sisters understood. They understood. Fahim na. They went. Dhahab na. Okay. You're like, oh, it's very difficult. Khasu. Should we learn everything? Yes, you should learn. Should you use it? No. Here I have a good news for you. For example, in spoken Arabic, I think you will never hear Antuma, for example, Antunna, uh, Huma, Huma, Hunna. So in spoken Arabic, they use for group Antum. Antum. Even if you have just only Women group, they, in some dialects, I don't mean every dialect, for example, in Yemen, in Saudi, you can hear these, all these forms, you can hear. But, in general, when you speak, you can use antum, as you do it in English, for male group, women group, mixed group, antum. You can use it. Even if you use, of course, if you use antunna, it's very beautiful language, it's like Shakespeare, so it's better. And I ad advise you to speak 100 correct classical Quran Arabic. But sometimes you don't remember. Maybe like, okay, if you want something to speak, forget Antunna, forget Huma, they too, Antuma, forget it. But other things you should learn. And of course, you should learn it to understand when you read Quran, when you read Hadith, when you read Ulema's, ulema's speech, you should know it. 
Even if you don't use it, you should know it. Okay, that's it. Let's uh, learn how to use them in present tense. Now, conjugation in present simple. We don't need all these pronouns that we have added before, but we need roots. We need the same roots. Darasa, these three letters. We need them in present also. Okay, darasa, 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 darasata, darasu, darasna. طيب, let's start. And also, we don't need sukuns. So when you make conjugation in present tense, first of all, you should know harakat of present tense verb. For example, darasa, it was da, ra, sa, in past. In present, it's yadrusu. Yadrusu. So the question is, which haraka in the middle letter? So if, if you have any verb uh, from three letters, like fa, hi, ma, da, ha, ba, da, ra, sa, ja, la, sa, ka, ra, a, ka, ta, ba, three letters, this verb always starts with Fatha, so first one is Fatha, Ya. Second letter with a Sukun. And third letter, we don't know. And the last letter with Dhamma. So the only one question is which haraka in the middle of the verb? Yad Rusu. So with Yad Rusu is Dhamma. With Yafhamu, Fahima, Yafhamu, Ha, Hamu, Fatha. Mathalan, Yafhamu. Jalasa, sit down. Yajalisu, yajalisu, yadrusu, yafhamu. So it, it may, it, it can be Dhamma, Fatha, Kasra. So the, well, the only question with three letters verbs is which haraka in the middle? Yadrusu. Okay, you know Yadrusu. You, you know the haraka in the middle is Dhamma. So other things are easy. Yadrusu. He is studying or he studies Yad Rusu. Let's start with Ana. Ana. So there, they are uh, in, in, in present tense. Do you remember in past tense we just uh, used to, uh, we, we added pronouns at the end of verbs. In present tense we add at the beginning and sometimes at the end. So it's always at the beginning. So Anna starts with A. D. Ru. Su. Ad. Ru. Su. Okay. Ad. Ru. Su. Ad. Ru. Su. I study. Ad. Ru. Su. I write. Ak. Tubu. I'm sitting. Ej. Li. Su. A. Starts with A. Okay. Nahnu, we add na, the same, nad, ru, nad, rusu, nad, rusu, we are studying nad, rusu, nah, nad, rusu. For example, uh, we understand, naf, hamu, we, we are going somewhere, or we go, nad, habu, na, nad, rusu, na, so we add just na. At the, the, the beginning. Anta, we add ta, so it's tad rusu. Tad rusu. Tad ru su. Tad rusu. So yad rusu, tad rusu. Anti, we add ta at the beginning. Tad ru. And we add ina. Tadru Sina. Tadru Sina. Tadru Sina. For example, do you understand, sister? Tafha Mina. Do you go? Tadha Bina. Antuma. Antuma. We add ta. Tadru Sani. So we add ani at the the, the end. 
تدرسانی یو تو دو یو ستادی تدرسان دو یو اندستاند یو تو تفهمان آن 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 انتون انتون یو بویس از تد رو سونا تدرسونا تدرسونا دو یو اندستاند تفهمونا دو یو گو یو گایس تذهبون and you girls is تد رو سنا تدرسنا 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 هو يدرس يدرس she is تد رو سو تدرسو she is تدرسو they two boys you remember just add the same ani at the end of هو like هو يدرسو هما يد رسانه يدرسانه هما هما يدرسانه هما if we have two girls تدرسانه تد رسانه so we use the same she is and add ani at the end like تدرسو she is studying تدرسو they are two girls تدرسانه and whom يدرو يدرو سونا and now I will show you something هنا يد رسنا so it's like life hack I don't know in Russian language we say life hack I don't know in English do we use with this term see أنت تدرس هو يدرس you study you you are studying he is studying the same just تدرس يدرس أنت تدرسين أنتما you two تدرساني and they two يدرساني تدرسان يدرسان like in the mirror the opposite تدرسان يدرسان you are studying you all تدرسون they all are studying يدرسون تدرسون يدرسون أنتن تدرسن and هن يدرسن تدرسن يدرسن تدرسون يدرسون تدرسان يدرسان تدرس يدرس but we have some a little problem with they two two girls تدرسان and you two تدرسان so how you can understand that you mean you two you 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 two are studying or they two girls are studying you have a context so you understand from the context okay because in, in English you have just study you study we study they study uh, <laughs> with all pronouns you study and you don't have any problems with it so in Arabic is much easier you have just with Antuma Tadrusan and uh, they two girls Tadrusan okay so uh, also, in spoken language, when you speak, you can forget antuma, hu antunna, huma, hunna. So when you speak, you did adrus, nadrus, tadrus, tadrusina, tadrusuna, yadrus, tadrus, yadrusuna. But as I said before, you you sh you you need to know about them. Because you will see it in Quran, you will see it in Sunnah, you will see it in books. So that's it. Let us practice with, for example, um, which verb? Give me any verb. A'rif. Um, Ya'rifu means no. Ya'rifu. Ya'rifu. Means he's knowing or he knows. He knows. Knows. Yarif. 
يعرفوا. You see, this is يعرفوا. The root is عرفة. So يعرفوا. أنا أعرف. نحن نعرف. أنت brother. Do you know? تعرف. Sister. Do you know? Say it. تعرفينا. But my brother, my sister, you too. Yes, I mean you too. Do you know? تعرفاني. تعرفان. You, my brothers, who are watching this video, do you know me? Ta'rifuna? Sisters, do you know him? Ta'rifna? He's knowing me, or he knows me. He, uh, he's knowing, no, he's, he knows, of course. He, huwa, ya'rif. She knows, hiya, ta'rif. They two boys, they know يعرفاني. They two girls know تعرفاني. They boys know يدرسون. Sorry, يعرفون. And they girls know يعرفنا. يعرفنا. That's it. Now we will learn imperative. But before to learn Imperative, how we use in future tense. In English, we add will. In Arabic, we add sa or sofa. Sofa. So we say, I will study sa adrusu, sa tadrusu, sa nadrusu, sa yadrusuna, sa tadrusuna, sa yadrusani, sa tadrusani. And sofa. It's like far future. سوف أدرس. سوف أذهب. سوف يدرسون. سوف. So you have س for near future and you have سوف for far future. But I will make another video, inshallah, about س and سوف and the difference and how uh, how we should use them. So this is س and سوف. So now let's start with conjugation in imperative. In imperative, what is imperative? It means do it, go, it's like comment form. Sit down, study, read it, say it. So in imperative, we don't need all these forms. Really, yes, we don't need them. Why? Because when you comment, you comment someone in front of you. You say, brother, sit down, brother. You can say, for example, for my friend from Egypt, Mahmoud, Mahmoud. No, Mahmoud is not here, so I cannot comment anything for him. So, you don't need he is, she is, they are, they too, they women. And also, you cannot comment yourself. Like meaning, khasu, me. Sit down. But when you say khasu, sit down, and you, you are you are like uh, you command yourself, you like say, oh myself, please wake up early, for example. So you you are addressing second uh, person. So you don't need ana and nahnu. You need just just anta anti antuma antum antunna. Okay, okay. So how to comment? We can say there are three steps or two steps. First of all, you should cut the verb from two sides. How to cut the verb? Like you have tadrusu. Yeah, tadrusu. You should cut this verb from both sides. Cut this one and this one. Really? Yes. After you cut tadrusu, you will have drus. So, see? Put sukun without haraka. Sukun means uh, there is no haraka. Drus. 
In, in Arabic, who, who has learned Tajweed knows that drus, you cannot say drus in Arabic. You cannot start with sukun. So we have something called Hamzatul Wasli. This is Alif. This is Alif, just Hamzatul Wasli. So you, you need this Alif when you start from sukun because you cannot start. You put Alif, like uh, you use it to start, to, to pronounce this word. So here you have Hamzatul Wasli. And this Hamzatul Wasli, which haraka you put? Adrus, Idrus, Udrus. You look at the third letter, this one. Here Dhamma, you put Dhamma. If there no Dhamma, you put Kasra. So sometimes you put Kasra, sometimes you put Dhamma. When you should put Dhamma? When this third one is with Dhamma. Okay, if there is Fatha, put Kasra. If there is Kasra, put Kasra. So in general, we can say like, put Kasra if you don't have Dhamma in the third one. On the third one. So it's Udrus. For example, Yadhabu, which means uh, go, Yadhabu. He, he, he goes, Yadhabu. After cutting it, you have Dhab, you put Hamzatul Wasli, and after that you, you put which one? Dhamma? Udhab? No, because there is no Dhamma. So put Kasra. Idhab. Idhab. For example, Yajlisu. Yajlisu. Is Jlis. Is there Dhamma? No. So put Kasra. Ejlis. Ejlis. But if you have, if you have Dhamma in the third, in the, on the third letter, U, so start with U. Udrus. Okay, Udrus. For example, Yaktubu, um, writing. Write. Uktub. Uktub. Uh, Methalan, another verb like, for example, speak. You speak. Tata kallamu. Tata kallamu. How to say, brother? Speak. Speak Arabic. Speak. So, first of all, we cat from the both sides. So, we say, Takalam with the sukun. After that, should we add Hamzatul Wasli? Do we have any problems with starting from Takalam, from Ta with Fatha? We don't have any problems with it. So we don't need Hamzatul Wasli. We don't need it. We just say Takalam. So we use what we have here. Takallam, takallam, takallam ya akhi, takallam. For example, watch, to watch, you are watching. Tushahidu, tushahidu, tushahidu means you are watching. How do you say, watch it, watch this movie, watch this video. Okay, the same steps. So, is... Shahid and also we don't need any Hamzatul Wasli. We say Shahid. Shahid had al video. Takalla ma'a abika Udrus al Arabiya. Tayyib, this is with you. So when you command you. Ahi takallam, ahi udrus, ahi ijlis, ahi idhab. So with sister, for example, your wife, your daughter, how to say study, sister, study Arabic, you will need it, study Arabic. So let's take Tadrusina, 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 and as we said, we delete, we remove first letter. 
and put sukun. But with tadrusina form and also all forms in present tense that are or that end with ani, una, ina, so with nun after mad, ina, ani, una, we remove nun. Yes, we remove nun and we say drusi. But can we say drusi? No. So it's udrusi. 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 For example, ijlis. Ijlisi. Idhab. Idhabi. So in another way, we can say like, just add e for udrus, but it's not always correct. So when you say cut from both sides is better. Is more correct but the result usually is the same so we can say like udrus just add e udrusi okay udrusi takallam takallami to shahid shahid shahidi shahidi udrusi after that with antuma is tadrusani Remove noon, remove first letter, and add Hamza to Wasli and say Udrusa. So I don't need to write it here. Udrusa, Udrusa. With Tadrusuna, so Udrusa. And also in another way we can just say, just add Alif for Udrus. You study, you two study. Udrusa, 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 Antuma. Idhab, Idhaba. اجلس اجلسا تكلم تكلما شاهد شاهدا with تدرسونا تدرسونا the same story remove noon add just add alif but this alif uh, you, you write it but you don't pronounce it so it's ادرسو ادرسو تكلمو اجلسوا اذهبوا شاهدوا هذا الدرس جيدا with antunna antunna is you only women we don't do anything just remove ta and say udrusna so we don't remove this noon because this noon is pronoun you cannot remove it because this is only one thing that shows you that you are talking about women group. So, udrusna, udrusna. And takallamna, shahidna. That's it. If you want to get PDF file with all conjugations, you can find it in my Telegram channel. And of course, don't forget to like, comment and share this video with your friends. And we'll see you in another video, write in comments, which topic do you want me to explain you? Inshallah, I will do it. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.